Is I think so. I mean, I know some people really enjoy a, a cold, refreshing February day. We've had plenty of those. Now we'll do something a little bit different. Today will be milder, tomorrow milder still. So we're taking a live look outside this morning. City lights look good. Clear skies, currently 31 degrees. It's the official temp at Central Park. Uh, variable winds, five miles an hour. So we're looking at numbers uh, in and around the city. Hmm, kind of different. 27 degrees in the Bronx, 31 for Jackson Heights, 29 for JFK, 19 for Staten Island. She Head Bay is at 32, so one of the few locations that's at the freezing mark. Everybody else kind of below it, but we will warm up, right? So we're looking at temperatures, a lot of teens and 20s right now. Even those numbers represent a warm up over this time yesterday, but 47 degrees, that's our forecast high for today. 42 is what the National Weather Service considers normal for this day of the year, so we are going to overshoot that by five degrees. Obviously, we are not in record territory, but it should be nice, a nice little break from the frigid temps that we've had over the past three days. Sunrise this morning, 649, so a little more than an hour away. We should see bright skies once again, although there will be a few more clouds uh, in the mix this afternoon. But your satellite radar showing dry conditions once again. So uh, we've had a stretch here of dry weather. Monday, Tuesday, and again today. High pressure, however, is shifting, moving offshore, and we are watching this cold front because this becomes a huge player in our weather over the next few days. So as we turn on your future cast and show you, we go through today, Ken, all right, here are those clouds. Again, not rainmakers, just a few additional clouds. So still today is a nice day, bright skies, mild temperatures. Tomorrow, our temperatures jump from the 40s to the 60s, well, 50s and 60s, depending on where you are. But we're going to get a surge of warm air in advance of this cold front. We will see more clouds on Thursday, but it looks like the rain holds off until Thursday night. So this is 9 o'clock at night. We're starting to watch that rain edging into our northern and western suburbs. The rain continues to push in uh, overnight. So we will see widespread rain. Some of it will be heavy. Could see some thunderstorms embedded in this system uh, as well. It continues to move across the area. So this is 6 o'clock in the morning. And so that last little sort of gas will be moving through. So I would say a soggy morning commute is something you should probably be concerned with on Friday morning. So this is six o'clock, especially if you leave early. Otherwise, we'll have some wet roadways, some ponding on the roadways. Things clear up by about one o'clock Friday afternoon, but significant winds will be an issue Thursday night into Friday. As far as how much rain we see, well, probably about a half an inch of rain with this system, but the winds are going to be more significant. So we have made that a first alert weather day. You see it there in yellow Thursday into Friday, but look at those temperatures. Today's high 47, tomorrow 62, Friday 60, but temps will be falling throughout the day. Chris? Elise, thank you.